The goal in stopping the progression of this biofilm induced bacterial infection is to disrupt and remove as much biofilm as possible on every square millimeter. Now that's actually a challenge to do with just instrumentation, especially the deeper the pocket goes, the more we inadvertently leave. So an adjunct to periodontal therapy that can mitigate the biofilm is the use of a sulfonated phenolic, like found in PerioDT, that will desiccate the biofilm. Simply what that means is it will instantly remove the water from the biofilm, which then destroys it. You're seeing here that I dried the area, placed it supra and subgingivally, and after about 10 to 30 seconds, I suction it off as much as possible with the HVE, as the patient may detect a very mild acidic taste or brief stinging. Then you're gonna rinse it with water thoroughly, and the tissues will become like a white to pinkish from that dehydration action, but it will dissipate within a few hours. During instrumentation, the calculus deposits are key to remove as they are composed and covered in biofilm. If there's not a deposit in the area, but you're getting that immune response, you must still instrument that area to disrupt the biofilm. Sometimes we're so focused on calculus removal that we forget about biofilm removal, especially subgingivally where we can't see it. Did you know that antibiotics are actually the least effective at biofilm destruction? Therefore, this FDA approved period DT to desiccate the biofilm in a safe way enhances our treatment outcomes for our patients. Now you don't want to mix it with any other medicaments and it will help with reducing bleeding and softening the calculus deposits as well as reducing hypersensitivity. You can treat a full arch pre and post instrumentation with one syringe and when done with instrumentation, place it one more time to desiccate any of that possible leftover biofilm around the margins and into the pockets.